Once upon a time, in a faraway land, a young prince lived in a shining castle. Although he had everything his heart desired, the prince was spoiled, selfish, and unkind. But then, one winter's night, an old beggar woman came to the castle and offered him a single rose in return for shelter from the bitter cold. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince sneered at the gift and turned the old woman away. But she warned him not to be deceived by appearances, for beauty is found within. And when he dismissed her again, the old woman's ugliness melted away to reveal a beautiful enchantress. The prince tried to apologize, but it was too late, for she had seen that there was no love in his heart. As his punishment, she transformed him into a hideous beast and placed a powerful spell on the castle and on all who lived there. Ashamed of his monstrous form, the beast concealed himself inside his castle with a magic mirror as his only window to the outside world. The rose she had offered him truly was an enchanted rose, and it would bloom for many, many years to come. If he could learn to love another and earn their love in return by the time the last petal fell, then the spell would be broken. If not, he would be doomed to remain a beast for all time. As the years passed, he fell into despair and lost all hope, for who could ever learn to love a beast?
isn't the stubbornest piece of... Oh, oh, Papa! I'm about ready to give up on that hunk of junk. Oh, you always say that. I mean it this time. I'm never gonna get that boneheaded contraption to work. Yes, you will. And you'll win first prize at the fair tomorrow. <laughs> and become a world-famous inventor. You really think so? <laughs> you know I do. I always have. Well, then we better get cracking. This thing's not gonna fix itself. Now, where did I put that dog-legged clencher? <laughs> Papa. Oh. <laughs> so, tell me, do you have a good time in town today? I got a new book. <laughs> you do love those books. Well, 
They take me away to wonderful places where there's adventure and mystery and romance and happy endings. Papa, if I ask you something, will you answer me honestly? Don't I always? Do you think I'm odd? My daughter, odd. And where did you get an idea like that? Oh, I don't know. It's just that, well, people talk. Oh, well, they talk about me too. No, I'm not odd, nor you. No family ever saner, except one uncle who, well, maybe let that pass. In all you say or do, you couldn't make it plainer. You are your mother's daughter, therefore you are class. So I should just accept I'm simply not like them. They are the common herd, and you can take my word. You are unique, creme de la creme. No matter what you do, I'm on your side. And if my point of view is somewhat misty-eyed, there's nothing clearer in my life than what I wish and feel for you. And that's a lot, no matter what. No matter what they say, you make me proud. I love the funny way you stand out from the crowd. It's my intention, my invention, shows the world out there one day just what we've got, no, no matter, matter what. what. Now some may say old fathers just exaggerate That every daughter's great <laughs> You are And every daughter tends to say her father's tops <laughs> She pulls out all the stops To praise him and quite rightly No matter what the pain, we've come this far. I pray that you remain exactly as you are. This really is a case of father knowing best. And daughter, too. You're never strange. Don't ever change. You're all I've got, no matter what. Now, what do you say we give her a try? All right. You grab that log there, OK? And then put it right in there? Yeah. Just like that. That's perfect. Take a step back. All right, one more step back. Ready? Here we go. It works. It does? It, it does. <laughs> you did it, Papa. You really did it. Now I know you win first prize at the fair tomorrow. Who knows? Maybe I will at that. Oh, I almost forgot. I made you a scarf for good luck. Oh. Now I know I'll win, and then we'll get out of this town and travel all those places you've been reading about in those, um, those books of yours. All right, well, I'm off. Goodbye, Papa. Bye-bye, Belle. Be careful. I will. First prize is nearly mine. It's quite my best invention. So simple yet complex, so massive yet so small. This triumph of design will be my old age pension. That is providing I can find the fair at all. I must have missed a sign. I should have paid attention.
that's not a nightingale and not a mating call. Mind if I borrow this? 
It was a strange review. Master, allow me to explain. The gentleman was set upon by a woman. Master, may I take this opportunity to say that I was against it from the start? Who dared to disobey me? Oh, dear. You've all betrayed me. And who are you? Maurice. And what are you doing in my castle? I, I lost my way in the woods. You are not welcome here. I'm sorry. I'll just be on my way. It's hideous, isn't it? No, I, I wasn't. You've come to serve the beast, haven't you? No, I mean no harm. I was really looking for a place to stay. I'll give you a place to stay. So, <laughs> girls, girls, I'm just getting married. Don't tell me a little thing like that is going to change your feelings for me. Oh, no. No, never. And we'll still have our little rendez vuses, won't we? Oh, yes. Yes. Always. Good. Well, if we're going to have a wedding, I guess I better propose to the bride. <laughs> Run along now. Belle, oh Belle. Anyone home? Hello? Gaston, what a pleasant surprise. <laughs> Isn't it though? I'm just full of surprises. For you, Madame Weasel. Uh, a miniature portrait of you. You shouldn't have. Don't mention it. You know, Belle, there isn't a girl in town who wouldn't love to be in your shoes right now. This is the day your dreams come true. What could you possibly know about my dreams, Gaston? <laughs> Plenty. You've been dreaming just one dream. Nearly all your life Hoping, scheming, just one theme Will you be a wife? Will you be some he-man's property? Goodness, that he-man's me This equation, girl plus man Doesn't help just you on occasion, women can have their uses too, mainly to extend the family tree. Pumpkin, extend with me. We'll be raising sons galore. Inconceivable. Each built six foot four. Unbelievable. Each one stuffed with every guest on Gene. I'm not hearing You'll this. You'll be keeping house with pride. Just incredible. Each day gratified. So unweddable. That you're part of this idyllic scene. Picture this. A rustic hunting lodge. My latest kill, roasting over the fire. My little wife, massaging my feet. While the little ones play on the floor with the dogs. Oh, we'll have six or seven. Dogs? No, Belle. Strapping boys. Like me. Imagine that. <laughs> I can see that we will share all that love implies. We shall be the perfect pair. Rather like my thighs. You are face to face with destiny. All roads lead to the best things in life are all's well that ends with me. Escape me, there's no way certain as do re that when you marry. So, Belle, what'll it be? Is it yes or is it... Oh, yes. 
I just don't deserve you. <laughs> Who does? Me! Oh, you know that bell? Always playing hard to get. She turned you down? For now, but I'll have Belle as my wife. Make no mistake about that. <gasps> well, gee, if she turned it down, then maybe I still have a chance. Oh, no, 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 no. Is he gone? Oh, can you imagine? He asked me to marry him. Me. The wife of that boorish, brainless. Madame Gaston, can't you just see it? Madame Gaston, his little wife. Ugh. No, sir, not me. I guarantee it. I want much more than this provincial life. trying to maintain what is left of our humanity. Look at us. Look at you. <laughs> and what about me? Ah, Cogsworth, you were always insufferable. But every day you become a little more inflexible. <laughs> a little more tightly wound. <laughs> a little more ticked off. <laughs> Please, spare me the stupid part. At least we are not as far along as some of the others. You remember Michelle? Sure, oh, she was always too vain about her looks. And that's exactly what she's become. A banati. Little drawers, mirrors, works. Oh, and poor Jean-Claude. Uh, who? Oh, you remember Jean-Claude? He is not too bright, dumb as a... A brick! The whole wall! <laughs> Jean-Claude is a brick wall. That is him in the kitchen behind the stove. Bah! And, uh, Guillaume, the houseboy? Oh, that really mad little bootlicker. I never liked him. He was always groveling at the master's feet. He's a doormat. <laughs> <laughs> We are not as far along as some of the others, but eventually we will all become things. But why did we have to get mixed up in this whole spell business? It's not like we're the ones who turned the poor old beggar woman out on her ear. No, 
But are we not responsible for making him the way that he is? I suppose so. All I know is that eventually I will melt away into nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I only hope that there's enough of me left if the master ever breaks this spell. Hold on, old man. We've got to hold on. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? It's a girl. Yes, of course I can see it's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's a girl! Mademoiselle! Uh, look here, I should do all the talking. You! I spent the house and I should do most of the talking. Sherry! A word, just a word. That's all I'm asking for. Mamas, you'll never believe what I saw. Not in a million thousand years. Million? Million? Thousand years? Yes, Chip. No, really. This is the greatest thing it's the thing everyone's been waiting for since, since, I don't know when. All right, Chip. What is it? There's a girl in the castle. Bless my soul, wouldn't that be lovely? But there is. I saw her. Now, Chip, I will not have you running around making up wild stories, getting everyone's hopes up for no reason. Mrs. Potts, did you hear? Zazzy girl in the castle. See, I told you, and she's real pretty too. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. <laughs> this is the girl! The girl we have been waiting for! The girl who's come to break this spell! <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, let's not be too hasty! Oh, isn't this great concert? Oh, happy, happy days! Stop it! Stop that! <laughs> we should tell the others, no? Yes. Okay. No, no, I mean, no! I, I mean, wait a minute, wait a minute! Hello? Is anyone here? Please, I, I'm looking for my father. Belle, is that you? Papa? How did you find me? Your hands are like ice! We have to get you out of here. No, you must leave this place. Who has done this to you? There's no, there's no time to explain. You must go, now. I won't leave you here. Who's there? I know someone's there. Who are you? The master of this castle. Then you're the one who's responsible for this. <laughs> Release my father at once. I'm the master of this castle. I do not take orders from anyone. Throw her out. No, wait, please. please. Oh. Can you see he's not well? Then he should not have trespassed here. But he's an old man, he could die. He came into my home uninvited and now he'll suffer the consequences. Wait, please. There's nothing you can do. No, please. Oh, I said there's nothing you can do. Take me instead. No. What did you say? Take me instead. No. You would do that. You would take his place. If I did, would you let him go? Yes, but you must promise to stay here. Forever. Forever? Forever or he dies in the dungeon. But that's not fair. Wait. Come into the light. <gasps> Make your choice. No, listen to me. I'm old. I've lived my life. You have my word. Done. Wait, no. No, you don't. Papa, wait, I'm sorry. Please, let go of me. Take him to the crossroads. Wait, wait. No. not yet. No. Master. Master. <laughs> Master, please. What is it? <laughs> if the girl is going to be staying with us for some time, you might want to offer her a more comfortable room. <laughs> you didn't let me say goodbye! What? I'll never see him again. And I didn't even get to say goodbye. I'll show you to your room. My room? 
But I thought you she... want to stay in that dungeon? No. Then follow. You follow me. This is your home now. You're free to go anywhere you like, except for the West Wing. Why? What's in the West Wing? It's forbidden! You are never to set foot there! Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes! This is your room. I hope you'll be comfortable here. If you need anything, then my servants will attend to you. And one more thing. You will join me for dinner. That's not a request! Yes, I made the choice. For Papa, I will stay. But I don't deserve to lose my freedom in this way, you monster. If you think that what you've done is right, well then, you're a fool. Sorry. You see, they've forgotten all about me. One can be. 
And I quote, the tops of yon, the brightest star to ever grace this stage. But fall under one little spell. Shh! Wait, this is impossible. How, I, I know it is. But here we are. Well, now, what shall we bless you with for dinner? This is nice. But how would you like to borrow one of my gowns? Let me see what I've got in my drawers. <laughs> <laughs> I wore this when I left her from the Dew World Upper. The king himself was there. Of course, I wouldn't have a prayer of putting it to it now. Take it. Uh, that's very kind of you, but I'm not going to dinner. <laughs> Don't be silly. Of course you are. You heard what the master said. He may be your master, but he's not mine. I'm sorry. This is all just happening so fast. That was a very great thing you did, my dear. We all think so. I'm going to miss my papa so much. Cheer up, child. I know things may seem bleak right now, but you mustn't despair. We're here to see you through. Hope oh, that we'll be friends. I don't know you well. If anyone can make the most of living here, then bell it you. She thinks she is. That girl has tangled with the wrong man. Darn right! Dismissed, rejected, publicly humiliated. It's more than I can bear. More beer? What for? Nothing helps. I'm disgraced. You never. Gaston, you gotta pull yourself together. Gosh, it disturbs me to see you, Gaston. Looking so down in the dumps. Oh, you like to be you, Gaston. Even when taking your lumps. There's no one in town as admired as you. You're everyone's favorite guy. Everyone's hot and inspired by you. And it's not very hard to see why. <laughs> Biceps to spare. Ah! I'm fed up in scraggly or sprawn. That's right. And every last inch of me's covered with hair. Ah! It's all those fun matches, waist like Gaston. It's a spitting match, nobody spits like Gaston. I'm especially good at expectorating toys. Ten points for Gaston. When I was a lad, I ate four dozen eggs every morning to help me get large.
Gascon. I use antlers in all of my decorating. Dignity left for me. 
and what's going to go next? My mind! <laughs> Stay calm, Cogsworth. I'm frightened, Louis I know, my friend, but you are not alone. We are all in this together. It's time for dinner. Where is she? <laughs> Perhaps I should see about her. Find me a minute. I told her to come down. What's taking so long? Try to be patient, sir. The girl has lost her father and her freedom all in one day. Master, have you thought that perhaps this is the girl to break the spell? Of course I have. Good. Not a fool. Good. So then you fall in love with her, and she falls in love with you, and then boom, we are human again by midnight. It's not that easy, Lumiere. These things take time. We don't have time. The rose has already begun to wilt. Oh, it's no use. She's so beautiful and I'm... Just look at me! He has a point. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you can try to make yourself more presentable. Straighten up. Try to act like a gentleman. Impress her with your rapier wit. But be gentle. Shower her with compliments. But be sincere. And, and above, above all... What? You, you must, must control, control your, your temper. temper. <gasps> no! Well, what? Where is she? Who? <laughs> oh, yes, the girl! Actually, she is in the process of... Um, circumstances being what they are, she's... She's, she's, she's not coming. She's not coming. What did you say? <laughs> she's not coming! You'll see about that. <laughs> You'll have to stay You're where right. you are. Lumiere, stand aside. I thought I told you to come down to dinner. I'm not hungry. I'm the master of this castle, and I'm telling you to come down to dinner. And I'm telling you I'm not hungry. You're hungry if I say you're hungry. Don't be ridiculous. What did you say? You can't go around ordering people to be hungry. It doesn't work like that. I can. Besides, it's rude. Oh, rude, is it? Then how about this? If you don't come down to dinner, then I will drag you by master. the hair. Master! Master? Perhaps that is not the way to win the girl's affection. Sorry, sorry. Please, attempt to be a gentleman. But why is she being so difficult? Why are you being so difficult? Why are you being such a bully? Because I want you to come down to dinner. So you admit, you're being a bully. Deep breaths, master, deep breaths. <laughs> Get to know him. 
I don't want to get to know him. I don't want anything to do with him. I'm just fooling myself. She'll never see me as anything, anything but a monster. How long must this go on? This cruel trick of fate. I simply made one careless wrong decision. And then that which was gone, it left me in this state. An object of revulsion and derision. Hey, dead, is there no one who can show me how to win the world's forgiveness? No. Oh, what did they say? Shower her with compliments, impress her with your wit, act like a gentleman. Act like a gentleman. Act like a gentle man. Come to me, my little fluff. <laughs> it's my aunt, isn't it? You do not love me anymore. <laughs> ah, Shelly, you cut me to the wick. <laughs> do you really think a little thing like this would change my feelings for you? Now you really tickle my fancy. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, yes! Oh, no, no, no. I have been burnt by you before. <laughs> Actually, madame, I am a little hungry. I'll bring for Mrs. Pop. Then, senor and I are well we wait. That's all right. I'll go myself. <laughs> Girl, I like her spunk. Well, if you ask me, she was just being stubborn. After all, the master did say please. I think that's the first time I've ever heard him use that word. I do think you're right. You see, she's already starting to have a good influence on him. Hmm. Oh, there you are, dearie. Glad to see you out and about. <coughs> I'm Corpsworth. Head of the household. Conqueror! The girl is gone! I swear my eyes never left her! <laughs> Enchanté, mademoiselle. And this is oh. Lumiere's stomach! Ah, Shut up! The so nice. If there is anything we can do to make your stay more comfortable, anything? Anything at all? Well, I am a little hungry. Except that! Cogsworth! You heard what the master said! Oh, pish tosh! I'm not about to let the poor child go hungry. Fine. A glass of water, a crust of bread, and then off to Cogsworth! Where are your manners? The girl is our guest, not our prisoner. We must make her feel welcome here. Fine! Dinner! But keep it down! If the master were to find out, it would be our necks. Of course, of course. But what is dinner without a little music? Music? Ma chère mademoiselle, it is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we help you to hear this. And now, we invite you to relax. Let us pull a bit chair as the dining room proudly presents your dinner. Be our guest, be our guest, put our service to the test. Dye your napkin round your neck, sure we and we provide the rest. Soup du jour, hot tortures, why we only live to serve. Try the gray stuff, it's delicious! Don't believe me? Ask the dishes, they can sing, they can dance. After all this, this is France, and a dinner here is never second. Be our guest, be our guest, be our guest. Be 
timing pleasure, napkins, single play. Mademoiselle would like it too. Uh, wait a minute. I don't think that's such a good idea. We can't have you know who poking around in you know where. If you know what I mean. Perhaps you'd like to give me a tour? Me? I'm sure you know everything there is to know about the castle. <laughs> well, actually, I do. May I draw your attention to the hand-painted ceiling complete with shelves rocking in the light of its nymphs and centaurs? Act like a gentleman. Act like a gentleman. This will be good. This will be good. Bell? Oh, Bell? like a gentleman? Oh, I am nothing but a fool. And thanks to some quick thinking on my part, the disaster was averted. And that was the last time a stone of that style was, was quite in this area. What's up there? Nothing! Uh, absolutely nothing in this area. Ah, so... That's the West Wing. Nice going. Uh, perhaps the Mademoiselle would like to see something else? Oh. We have exquisite tapestry digging all the way back to Elogius the Pretentious. Maybe later. Uh, perhaps the Mademoiselle would like to see the gardens, or the library, or we have this swimming... You have a library? With books! 
Understand. There's so little left of me. So little left. And in my twisted face. There's not the slightest trace of anything that even hints at kindness. And from my tortured shape, no comfort, no escape. I see, but deep within is utter blindness. Hopeless as my dream dies, as the time flies, love a lost illusion, helpless, unforgiven, cold and driven to this sad. Conclusion. No beauty could move me, no goodness improve me, no power on earth if I can't love no passion could reach me, no lesson could teach me how I could have loved her and make her love me too. If I can't love her, then who? Long ago I should have seen All the things I could have been Careless and unthinking I moved onward No life could be cheaper, no point anymore, if I can't love her. No spirit could win me, no hope left within me, hope I could have loved her and that she'd set me free but it's not to be if i can't love her 
Let the world be done with me. then this wouldn't have happened. If you hadn't have frightened me, I wouldn't have run away. Well, you shouldn't have been in the West Wing. And you should learn to control your temper. <laughs> now, hold still. This may sting a little. <clears throat> By the way, thank you for saving my life. You're welcome. Well, that's more like it. I knew they could get along if they tried. So the ice is broken at last. And not a moment too soon, either. Have you taken a good look at the rose recently? It's losing petals at an alarming rate. Not to mention the fact I can hardly bend over at all anymore. <sighs> Clearly, it is time for us to give them a little push. We must find a nice, romantic way to bring them closer together. I have just the thing. How about we warm you two up with a nice bowl of soup? Soup? Uh, Trust me. <laughs> There's something sweet and almost kind. But he was mean and he was coarse and unrefined. And he's near and so unsure. I wonder why I didn't see it there before. Oh. Oh. Uh. She glanced this way, I thought I saw, and when we touched, she didn't shudder at my paw. No, it can't be, I'll just ignore, but then she's never looked at me that way before. When she smiles at me, I get all choked up, 
My heart starts pounding and oh, I just can't breathe. Don't! That's good! Excellent! I want to get her something, but what? I've never felt this way about anyone. Well, there's the usual things. Flowers, chocolates, promises you don't intend to keep. No, no, this is no ordinary girl. You must find something that sparks her interest. Something... Oh. Are you sure? Yes. Well... Say something about the dress! It's pink! A compliment! <laughs> oh, what a nice dress. Thank you. Belle, I, um, I have something to show you. But you have to close your eyes first. It's a surprise. Can I open them? All right. Now! Oh, I can't believe it! I've never seen so many books in my whole life! Do you like it? It's wonderful! Then it's yours! That's, uh, all right. No, really. You read it. No, you. No, you. No, I... I can't. You never learned to read? Only a little, and it was long ago. Well, it just so happens this is the perfect book to read aloud. Come here. Sit by me. Bless my soul. Well, who'd have known? Well, who indeed? And who'd have guessed they'd come together on their own? It's so peculiar. Wait, Wait and see. see. A few, few days more. There might be something there that wasn't there before. Perhaps there's something there that wasn't there before. There may be something there that wasn't there before. What's there, Mama? I'll tell you when you're older. Come along, dearie. Let's give them some privacy. Mama? Yes, Chip? Will I ever get to be a boy again? I hope so. When will I know? If it's to be, it will be very soon. Come along. Knowing not that this was indeed the legendary sword called Excalibur, Arthur tried to pull it from the stone. He tried once, to no avail. He tried a second time, but still he could not pull it out. Then, for the third time, Arthur drew forth the sword. So that must mean that he's king. <laughs> Wait and see. I, I never knew books could do that. Do what? Take me away from this place and make me forget for a little while. Forget? Who I... <sighs> what I am. We have something in common, you know. What's that? In the town where I come from, the people think I'm odd. You? So, I know how it feels to be different, and I know how lonely that can be. Mm. 
For the third time, Arthur drew forth the sword, and there arose from the people a great shout, Arthur is king. Told you so. They're still in there? Yes, and so far, he's being a perfect gentleman. You know what, Mama? I've got a funny feeling inside. I don't know what it is, but it makes me feel kind of bubbled. It's hope, son. I've been feeling it, too. Are we, my little friend? The day we waited for may be at hand. If only that were true. Ah, human again. Human again. Yes, and think what that means. I'll be cooking again, be good cooking again, with a mademoiselle on each arm. When I'm human again, only human again, poised and polished and gleaming with charm. I'll be cutting again, she can sporting again. Which should cause several husbands alarm. I'll hop down on this shelf. And to sweepy myself. I can't wait to be human again. When we're human again, only human again. When we're knickknacks and whatnots no more. Little push, little shove, they could wash my love. Really, that would be strange. I help you to find such dense. In a shack by the sea, I'll sit back sipping tea. Let my early retirement commence. Far from fools made of wax, I'll get down to brass tacks and relax. I'm human again. So sweep the dust from the floor. Let's let some light in the room. I can feel, I can tell someone might bring the spell any day Arthur was slain, she stole away to a convent, and no one could ever make her smile again. That's the end. What a beautiful story. I knew you'd like it. I'd like to ask you for something. And what's that? A second chance. Uh, would you have dinner with me tonight? Dinner? Me? With you? That'd be... I mean, oh yes. When we're human again, oh we're human again. When the girl by me says it's so free. Cheats are brewing again, we're assuming again. We'll resume our love as joy I'll be. We'll be playing again, holidaying again. And we're praying it's ASAP. When we cast off this flawless and straight we'll want to
thank you for meeting us on such short notice, Monsieur D'Arc. I don't usually leave the asylum in the middle of the night, but this fellow said you'd make it worth my while. Look, I've got my heart set on marrying Belle, but she needs a little persuasion. Turned him down flat. <laughs> it's like this. See? There's a danger I'll be thwarted and denied my honeymoon. For the pretty thing I courted refuses to swoon. So the time has come for a murky plan for which I turn to a murky man. I where better than the Mason they lose? I don't take this girl for granted. There's no path I haven't you. To her heart, no seed unplanted, no flower unstrewn. But quite amazing to relate, she doesn't want me for her mate. Voices him to parts The Mason they lose. I don't wish to see my dad of truth, for I don't see how I can be of use. For I lock people up by not alone. Hearts love. I'm a cold, cold fish, a nasty, vicious drink. Please speak. It's Mel's father, who's your client. She adores the old buffoon. She'll be forced to be compliant. She'll dance to your tune. We get the daughter through the dead. You just pronounce the old boy man. She slammed up in your bed. The Mason Taylor. Do I make myself entirely clear? <laughs> it's the simplest deal of my whole foul career. Night, the night for you to confess your love. I don't think I can do that. You must. You care for the girl, don't you? More than anything. Then why not tell her? I can't. You must. There will be beautiful music, romantic candlelight provided by myself. And when the moment is right. How will I know when the moment is right? <laughs> You'll feel slightly nauseous. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. You will know because you will feel it in here. And then you must speak from the heart. I must speak from the... Ah, no, I can't. You must! What are you afraid of? Nothing. Master. I'm afraid she might... She might what? Laugh. At me. Somehow, my prince, you must find the courage to take that chance. Master, think of the rose. There's so little time left. I really don't think I can do this. Here, perhaps this will boast of your courage. Oh. Ah, you can do it, master. I know you can.
tail as old as time True as it can be Barely even friends Then somebody bends unexpectedly Just a little change Small to say the least, both a little scared, neither one prepared, beauty and the beast. Dance with me? Uh, no, I really don't think I could. Dance with her! Ever just the same, ever a surprise. The sun will rise, tail as old as time, tune as old as song, bitter, sweet, and strange. Finding you can change, learning you were wrong, certain as the sun. Up to the cupboard with you now, Chip. It's past your bedtime. Good night, love. Thank you for asking me to dinner. Dinner was wonderful. Belle, I... Yes? Belle, are you happy here? Oh, yes. Everyone's so kind. Mrs. Potts, Lumiere... With me? Yes. I must speak from the heart. Is something wrong? I was just thinking about my father. I miss him so much. I just wish I could see him again. There is a way, Cogsworth. This mirror can show you anything, anything you wish to see. You only have to say it. I'd like to see my father, please. Papa? Oh no, Papa, something's wrong. He's in the woods. I think he's lost. I should, I should. Go to him. What? You should go to him. But what about? Bell. Bell, you aren't my prisoner. You haven't been for a long while now. No, take it with you. So you'll always have a way to look back and remember me. I could never forget you. Bell, I... Yes? Go, go. Go. I'm never going to see her again. Well, sir, I must say, things have been going along just swimmingly. I knew you had it in you. I let her go. Do what? How could you do that? I had to. But why? No. After all this time, he's finally learned to love. <laughs> then that's it. We will be human again. His spell is broken? It's not enough. She has to love him in return. And now it's too late.
been broken, no words have been spoken, no point anymore if she can't love me, no hope she would do so, no dream to pursue so. I finally know that I shall always be in this hopeless state and condemned to wait, wait for death to set me free. Don't get much crazier than that. 
It's true, I tell you. Maurice, tell me more about these delusions. They're not delusions. The beast was real, and so is the talking clock. <laughs> Poor Bell. It's a shame about your father. Gaston, you know he's not crazy. I might be able to clear this little misunderstanding up if... If what? If you'll marry me. What? Just one little word, Belle. That's all it takes. Never. Have it your way. Take the old man. Wait, no. Please, let go of me. Wait, no. I can prove Wait. my father's not crazy. Show me the beast. Ah! Oh, that's him. That's him. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you had feelings for this monster. He's not the monster, Gaston. You are. Oh. She's as crazy as the old man. She says this beast is her friend. Well, I've hunted wild animals before, and I've seen what they can do. The beast will make off with your children. He'll come after them in the night. He would never do that. Forget the old man. I say we kill the beast! Yes! We're not safe until he's dead. No go stalking us at night. He said to sacrifice our children to his monstrous appetite. Here we have it on our village if we let him wander free. So it's time to take some action, boys. It's time to follow me. Through the mist, through the wood, through the darkness and the shadows, it's a nightmare, but it's one exciting ride. But we're not coming home till he's dead! Good and dead! Kill the beast! Yeah! I won't let you do this! Try and stop us! Oh, Papa! This is all my fault! I have to go back and warn him! I'm coming with you! No! I lost you once, I'm not gonna lose you again! No. We're in the village of this monster! Who's with me? I am! I am! I am! Light your torch, catch your horse! Speak to me 
need be. There's a fight in the castle. It doesn't matter now, just let them come. One, two.
I'm certain as can be, I found home. You're my home. Stay with. Phil, I. Yes. No. No, please. No, leave me. Please. I love you. <laughs> Of course. 